I'm here at a Trump rally in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to ask Trump supporters about the bombshell New York Times report, which showed that Trump received around $413 million from his father, and that together they work to evade taxes by undervaluing their properties, amongst many other things. You guys should read the full report. I wanted to talk to supporters about it because a lot of supporters I've spoken to say they back Trump uh, because he is a self-made businessman. We'll see what they think about the report. So there was this big report that said that Trump actually inherited around $413 million from his father. Uh, he has said he only got a small loan of a million dollars. What do you well, think of that? About the money Hillary and Bill have, right. you know, they never reported. Well, they're not president, you know, anymore. You'd have never heard of them if she would have made it. Hey, I think Hillary Clinton has gotten a ton of money from shady sources, but I'm asking right. you, right? Because a lot of supporters... In the past, it's what is going now that counts. Who cares? Turning 16 million into 16 billion is, you know, he's still. Oh, you a think great he has 60 billion? Check it out somewhere. Okay. Look overseas. The whole works. Yeah, you know, but the whole point is, that's the strength of America. I was hoping my dad left me that kind of money. <laughs> so who cares? Yeah. You know, hey, his dad left him the money. He's a son. So what? So the report also said that the, much of that money came through tax evasion and, uh, you know, undervaluing their properties. These kind of guys are smart and know the tax laws. If they can save money doing that, fine. It's legal. They didn't. It's not. It's illegal. Well, I don't know. They haven't said that. I don't care where his money comes from. I like him. I like what he's doing for America. So a lot of people who voted for him said they liked that he was a self-made billionaire. It seems that he's not self-made. It doesn't matter how much money he has. It's about the man, the size of his heart, and what he's doing for America. He's, if he took 400 million, he's made it into eight or $10 billion, so be it. So I don't know, uh, we haven't gotten his taxes yet, so I don't know how we can say what his actual figure of his net worth is. Not important to me. You know what? I actually don't care what the New York Post says. Well, New York Times, New York Times. New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, because they're all fake. The only channel I watch is Fox, and it's on 24-7. CNN and MSNBC are on 24-7, too. But I don't watch them. Okay. No. Um, I even have my dogs watching Fox. <laughs> so you don't buy, you know, he said he's a self-made billionaire. Would you say getting $400 million makes you self-made? No, not really, but, you know, he's not the only politician out there that does, has things in their trunk, you know. Name one politician that doesn't do uh, shady things. Second, that happened before he was president, so I really don't care. And third, name a millionaire that doesn't do something with their taxes. So uh, he kind of demonstrated or purported to be a self-made billionaire in during the election. Do you think getting a loan of $413 million or getting $413 million makes you self-made? Um, and a roundabout way, yes it does. Because I can get $400 million, go buy an airplane, blow it in one day, and be broke. The uh, same report said that if he had just put it in an index fund, he would have more money than he does today. Well, what good that would have done for the economy? He's had jobs, he's built things, putting it in uh, something uh, other fund to sit there, what's that do to, to grow? Yeah, you know, that's all propaganda aimed, aimed at smearing him because you can't handle the truth. Yeah. What's the truth? The, the truth is he worked hard. That's how he became wealthy. And, and, and he used the laws in place by our government, uh, which everybody voted for. So that's the truth. The so you can take your mic and go elsewhere with him, please. Okay. I have, well, I haven't read any of those reports, but if he got money from his father, God love him. Somebody has got to get ahead in this world, and why not him? So uh, that means that he wasn't technically a self-made billionaire, right? Because he got almost half a billion from Who his is? father. Who is? He ran on being a self-made billionaire. Well, yeah, but uh, everybody gets their money certain ways, and if he, he's not out there not working, he worked. So if he got a little head start, God I'm love sure. him. But I'm sure... Um, Hillary got her money somehow. I'm sure she didn't work really hard for it. I look at Trump for what he's been doing, and it, it seems to be working. He's a good businessman. Uh, tax evasion, I mean, 
So he's been bankrupt like six times. I don't know if a good businessman would do that. He's talked about it a little bit. Uh, Jim Kelly, one of my favorite Buffalo Bills players of all times, went bankrupt because he got into Endeavor and didn't went right. I, it didn't go right. Did he go bankrupt six times? I don't know about six times, but even once. Uh, it's, it's in our system. It, it, the laws are there. If the laws weren't there, they couldn't do this. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.